Welcome to the video portion of the safety tour. This video replaces portions of the in-person safety tour for new lab members of SNSF's nano patterning clean room. Please note that in addition to this video, you must also read the wet bench SOP material and pass the associated wet bench safety quiz, as well as attending a brief in-person walkthrough with a staff member. This video portion of the safety tour will be divided into five parts, downing and entry, safety items, wet benches and chemicals, tools and equipment, and exiting. Gowning and Entry For your convenience, lockers are located at the end of the hallway outside the gowning room. Place your personal items inside the locker and take the key with you. Return the key to the locker door when you have exited the clean room. Also note that current SNSF and Stanford policy requires that you wear a face covering at all times inside any SNSF facility. There are two doors in the Spilker basement hallway adjacent to the clean room. To the left of the gowning rack, is the entrance to the gowning room. To the right of the gowning rack is the entrance to room 005, accessible only by staff from this hallway. Gowning begins in the hallway just outside the gowning room. Here you find bouffant caps, shoe covers, and beard covers. There is also hand sanitizer here which is to be used before touching the handle of the gowning room door. After donning a bouffant cap and shoe covers and sanitizing your hands, you're ready to enter the gowning room. Once you enter the gowning room, use the hand sanitizer again. It is located on the shelf to your right, just inside the door. Don a pair of nitrile gloves after sanitizing your hands again inside the gowning room. To the left, you will find a wipe down and blow off station. There are pre-soaked IPA wipes. Wipe down and blow off any of your personal electronics or items that will accompany you into the clean room. There is a sign up sheet on the shelf to the right. Select an available hanger or storage slot and write your contact information to claim a storage space for your gowning items. Gowning items are located in bins on the racks to the right. Select small, medium, large, or extra large hood and coverall. Current COVID protocols require us to not wear clean room booties. Your blue shoe covers are the only foot coverings required until further notice. Don clean room gardens in this order. Hood first, then coverall, and normally clean room booties last. Make sure that your hood is tucked into the collar of your coverall, and, in the future, make sure the legs of your coverall are tucked into the booties. Also available are wipes for sanitizing your safety glasses. Remember, SNSF is currently not providing shared safety glasses. You must bring your own, or contact a staff member and we may be able to provide you with a pair for you to keep. Remember, safety glasses are required to be worn at all times inside the nano patterning clean room. After donning your hood and coverall, the last gowning step is to don a pair of PVC gloves over your nitrile gloves. You should have two layers of gloves on before entering the clean room. Visual guides to gowning requirements are also located on the door into the clean room in case you forget any of the steps. You are now ready to enter the clean room. Safety items. There are three emergency exits, one adjacent to the hallway. One to the left of the JEOL operator station, and one in the wet bench area that enters into room 005. There are two fire extinguishers, one inside the gowning room to the left of the clean room door, and one inside room 005 when you enter from the wet benches. The safety shower and eye wash are also located in room 005. If you need to evacuate the lab, use the fire pole, located next to the emergency exit that is adjacent to the hallway. Our emergency assembly point is number 106, located outside in front of the Spilker building. If there is ever an evacuation, remember to leave as quickly and safely as possible. Do not remove your clean room garments. Just exit quickly and wait at EAP 106. Building staff will take note of everyone at the assembly point and then dismiss you. There are two red emergency phones. These are no dial direct to emergency services, so please do not raise the handset unless there is an emergency. One is located inside the yellow light area. The other is located inside room 005. Emergency phone numbers are also posted throughout the lab. Wet benches and chemicals. 
Please note that in addition to this video, you must read the Wetbench SOP and pass the associated quiz. There is a rack to the left, just inside the Wetbench door. This is where all of the PPE is located. There are four separate wet benches, each to be used exclusively for limited purposes. The spinner bench houses the headway spinner and hot plates. The solvent bench is for solvent processing. The base bench is for base processing. And the acid bench is for acid processing. There are three flammables cabinets in the wet bench room where general use chemicals are stored. General use chemicals have a blue sticker on them and may be used by anyone qualified to use the wet bench area. Do not use personal use chemicals that have yellow labels on them. If you go through the door into room 005, there are additional flammables cabinets where chemicals are stored and inventoried by staff. It is important to note that the door to room 005 will lock when closed. So leave the door open while you are in room 005 and close it again when you re-enter the wet bench area. You will see a fume hood in room 005. This is used as a temporary storage space for hazardous waste and empty reagent bottles. The sash is to be kept closed at all times unless you are placing empty chemical bottles inside. Located on top of the large blue acid storage cabinet are empty reagent bottles and caps. These have been triple rinsed and are to be used as emergency waste collection bottles in the event that the carboys are full and you can no longer use the cup sinks in the wet benches. The wet bench SOP will provide information about their use in greater detail. There are also three trash containers located throughout the clean room for non-contaminated waste such as dry wipers, clean but used gloves, or other non-contaminated trash. Tools and Equipment A number of Chromebooks located throughout the clean room are available for using Badger. You may also bring your own devices such as laptops or phones. In-lab storage space for your glassware, sample holders, and tools is usually available. Contact staff to attain in-lab storage space. This is the Beamer workstation. It may also be used for Badger if available. This is the Wraith Voyager Operator Station, one of our two e-beam lithography tools. This is the JEOL Operator Station, the other of our two e-beam lithography tools. This is the KJL e-beam evaporator, used for metal deposition. Here on the left is the Oxford RIE, and on the right is an ozone cleaner. Here is the Nova SEM. This is the Keyence laser confocal microscope. Here is the Dectec profilometer. A sputter coder for preparing non-conductive samples to be imaged in the SEM. An ellipsometer for thin film measurements. A vacuum sealer is available for your samples if you wish to protect them when leaving the clean room. Two optical microscopes are also available, one near the deck tack, one in the wet bench area. Exiting. There is a blue laundry bag inside the gowning room for soiled garments that you may not want to reuse. Place your clean gowning items in a large Ziploc bag located on the racks. Store your hood and coverall inside the bag on the hanger or storage slot that you signed up for. It is recommended to write your name and contact information on the outside of your Ziploc bag. Keep your bouffant cap, gloves, and shoe covers on until you leave the gowning room. Once you exit the gowning room, you may remove your bouffant cap, shoe covers, and gloves and place them in the trash bins located in the hallway. Thank you for watching. Please contact staff to continue the process of becoming a lab member of SNSF's Nano Patterning Cleanroom.